The U.S. Army's outgoing chief of staff is finally acknowledging and admitting something that liberals have been saying for years now. So the AFP is reporting that on the issue of Iraq, General Ray Odierno is saying, quote, Reconciliation between Shiites and Sunnis in Iraq is becoming harder, and partitioning the country might be the only solution. Iraq might not look like it did in the past. I think that uh, that is for the region and politicians to figure out, diplomats to figure out how to work this. But that is something that could happen. It might be the only solution, but I'm not ready to say that yet. Okay, so here's my conclusion based off that. It is the only solution, and you kind of are ready to say it, because you pretty much just did. No, see, this is something that even Joe, Joe Biden, going back, I'm not sure if it was during the, the Gulf War or during the Iraq War under Bush, but Joe Biden has said, he's on the record as saying, well, the problem is Iraq isn't even a real country. When were the borders drawn? I think it was like the early 1930s, and it, the borders were drawn by Britain. And yes, a, a lot of that had to do with, let's draw the borders and then put in puppet government so that we can take the natural resources and the oil. So you did that, and what happened is, you took a region that it's not a natural state, and you made it a state, which it led to ethnic violence, sectarian violence, etc. So you have the Sunnis, you have the Shias, and you have the Kurds, and they've been going at it from day fucking one. The only time when Iraq was uh, stable, arguably, was under uh, Saddam Hussein, and here's how he made it stable. He was a brutal dictator. <laughs> He was, he was a, a, a Sunni, he cracked down on the Shias, and he cracked down on the Kurds. The Kurds are also Sunni, but they're Kurds, so there's an ethnic difference there. So he cracked down on them, and, you know, the, the Ba'athists had a, a total iron-fisted control. Now, he certainly stabilized the region, but he did a lot of fucked up things in the process. And what you could have done is, if you actually gave a shit about drawing up a map that made sense, is you could have made it so that it was three separate countries. Do the partitioning that they're talking about here. You could have had a Sunni stand, a Shia stand, and a, and a Kurdistan. Now, obviously, it gets a little more complicated than that because uh, Kurdish territory stretches out into other areas as well. You know, as is well known at this point, there are parts of Turkey that, you know, uh, are involved in that. There are uh, parts of Syria. So it does get more complicated than that. But, I mean, the fact of the matter is, the Middle East, from the beginning, should not have been divvied up by Western powers, and the border should not have been drawn by Western powers, because they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. It was George W. Bush-like characters that were like, All right, let's draw a border right there, and then we'll go in there and take that oil from that one, and put that dictator right there, and then everything will work out good, and these Muslims won't hate us. <laughs> and then they did. Of course they did. So there's this big debate that goes on, of course, where people say, Well, why do they hate us? Joe Scarborough famously said, They hate us because they hate us. There are some in the atheist communities who say, that well, they hate us because they're religious uh, lunatics. And then there are, you know, uh, liberals and progressives who say, well, no, they, they actually hate us primarily because we've been fucking with their territory for so long and Western imperialism has ravaged the region and led to sectarian violence. Uh, they're all partially true. Well, not Joe Scarborough because he's just an idiot. They hate us because they hate us doesn't mean anything. But it, it is true that, you know, there are fundamentalist religious people who hate us because it's in their religion. That's certainly at least partially true. And it's also true that they hate us because we've been fucking with their territory and, you know, to taking their natural resources and drawing fake borders. So the solution is, at least in part, to, to do the partition uh, plan here, do the partitioning of Iraq. And by the way, I'm optimistic in the sense that I think that will lead to more long-term stability. It might not immediately uh, settle problems, but think about it. What happens when, for example, you set up Sunni stand, let's call it, so this area in Iraq, which is majority Sunni, what happens when you do that? Well, all of a sudden, you have the, the Ba'athists and the relatively secular Sunnis Instead of saying, well, let's continue to fight the Shias, and let's continue to fight the Kurds, they go, well, we have our own territory here, we have our own border here now. So, given enough time, the secular Sunnis, the Ba'athists, people like that, will end up turning on ISIS, because they don't agree with ISIS when it comes to religiosity. In fact, there were Saddam's former generals wrote letters about how they're teaming up with ISIS, but they don't agree with uh, fundamentalist religion, and they're not teaming up with them for that reason. They're teaming up with them because they want Sunni to have more power and to be on top again. So once you say, okay, you are on top again, you have your own state now, here you go, 
what happens? Well, eventually, the Ba'athists and the, and the fundamentalist Sunnis, the Salafists, ISIS, they're going to have at it. And that's good. You want that to happen. You want, you know, the, the more secular ones to win. But either way, we should be staying out of the region because the more we've intervened, the more we've fucked it up. So overall, I think what General Odierno is saying is absolutely true. The, the U.S. and, you know, our interventionist mentality has already fucked up the region enough. What we can do at this point is basically allow the natural borders to come back into existence. So do the partitioning and then we get the fuck out. Because I think that that can only lead to positive things in the long run.